Hello, this is Steve True with Excel-Templates.com. Please visit my website where you'll be sure to get the latest and greatest Excel charting techniques and other cell formula techniques to help build out your dashboards. Uh, today we are going to focus on a pipeline chart or some people call it a funnel chart. Uh, typically this is used in sales uh, and you may want to include it in your sales dashboard. I do want to caution you though, however, chart designers will tell you, um, and I agree that this may not be the best representation of how the data actually uh, fits the chart. So you can see 320 here and 652 here. Uh, it's approximately double uh, the discovery phase and the prospecting phase. Um, that's most likely the vertical uh, distance. It does not represent the volume of being double. So this may mislead your uh, your executive, so I want to make sure you're aware of that. Um, however, uh, you'll find this in lots of popular software, so you may want to try and recreate this type of chart. So let me go ahead and show you how to do this. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my data range from prospecting down to negotiations. I'm going to go up and take a look at the, the chart types that we have out there. Now, if you look at the chart types that you have in Excel, you will notice that there is no um, funnel chart. There is no uh, chart like that. Um, however, we do have a pretty close representation of that. Let me show you that from the menu. Um, in the column, at the very bottom here, you will see a pyramid type. Um, now these look a little bit similar to what we're trying to do, and uh, what we want to do is let's go ahead and choose the 100% stacked pyramid choice. Now, uh, as you can see, this is um, not what we're looking for. Uh, we just need to modify the data. It has thrown our data um, into uh, different columns and rows based on how I had the data. We need to change that. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the chart from my design ribbon. I'm going to go ahead and select switch column or rows. And now we have a pyramid that is 100% stacked um, like I want to represent. So uh, this is close to what we want, however we need to flip it on its edge and uh, we need to flatten it. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to right click on uh, the any one of the series. I'm going to right click on that series and choose 3D rotation. Now from your uh, menus you can also uh, click on the chart. You can go up to the layout ribbon. 3D rotation is there in the background group. So if I select that what we want to do is we want to change our X's to zero and our Y rotation to zero as well. And let's take a look at our chart. Uh, we're getting pretty close here. Um, now what I want to do is I need to flip this on its head. I'm going to right click on the vertical axis. I'm going to click on format axis. Also from your, your uh, if you click on the chart you go up to your layout ribbon. In your axis grouping you do have an axis menu uh, that you can choose the primary vertical axis, and I want more primary vertical axis options. We'll bring up our format axis dialog box. And what I want to do is right here in the axis options, you'll see values in reverse order. Click on that. Let's go ahead and close it. Look at that, it's looking pretty similar to what we wanted. Uh, I don't need this category because I don't have multiple uh, stacked pyramids here, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Um, you know what, we should probably add some labels. I'm going to click on the chart, go up to my layout ribbon, data labels in the labels grouping menu choice, and I'm going to click on show data labels. Um, <clears throat> now, uh, let's see if we can get that to do that for the whole chart, uh, because I was just clicked on one specific segment show. There we go. So I clicked on the background here to make sure that uh, all chart objects were going to be shown for the labels and went up and changed, added my labels there. So it's close to what we want, but I need to know, um, I don't really like uh, um, having to look back and forth at my legend and find out what's discovery phase, plus this is in reverse order, so I don't want to show that exactly the way I want. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on it and hit my delete key and get rid of it. Also, uh, this 0 to 100% doesn't make much sense in my vertical axis. I'm going to click on it and then hit my delete key. Uh, same thing with the grid lines. Don't really care anymore about those. I'm going to click on the grid lines and hit my delete key. Now, all I need to do is uh, click on my labels. And let's go up to layout, data labels, more label options. Um, what I want to do is I want to add the category name in here. I'm sorry, the series name in here. Um, and we can do that for each one of those. I'm just going to go ahead and add the series name. 
so that you can quickly see which category or which uh, category uh, has which value. So as you can see, we're able to re recreate the sales funnel pipeline pretty quickly and easily uh, just by modifying 100% stacked 3D pyramid. So hopefully this helps you build your Excel dashboards for your executives and your company. Uh, please stay tuned and come back. Uh, and also leave me some comments on this uh, post and let me know what you think at exceldashboardtemplates.com. Leave me some feedback and sign up as a user because then uh, you'll be sure to get the latest blog posts. Thanks and have a great day.